Hi, my name is Mariana and today I'm going to show you how to make some delicious jalapeno poppers. They're pretty simple and really cheap. I'm using dry salami, uh, Munster cheese, and uh, jalapenos. Okay, so we'll start with the jalapenos. I have six jalapenos. I usually grab the longer and uh, chunkier ones because it's easier to stuff them. We're just going to cut the top. And then I have this really handy tool that I got from my mother-in-law. Um, apparently she got it at the World Market. Um, it's a jalapeno scooper. If you don't have one of these, you can always use just a regular pointy knife. It will probably work, but I have this. It's really cool. You just scoop it in and you get the whole inside out and ta-da! And just careful when you're scooping because sometimes they release juices and they're really spicy. This is a tricky one. Oh, if they don't come out, you can always pull them either with your hands or use the little knife and cut the bottom when they're a little smaller it's a little harder to get it out and there you go okay so after I scoop all of the insides out um, I usually wash them and try to get all of the seeds out because the seeds is what makes the jalapeno really spicy so you're gonna want to try to clean as much as you can and really try to get everything off I don't know if you can see it inside but you really want to scoop everything out all right, I'm using Italian dry salami. You can use prosciutto or bacon, whatever you prefer. I'm also using Munster cheese. You can use um, cream cheese or any other uh, firm cheese. I'll just grab a slice of salami and put the Munster cheese, which I cut in about an inch thick. And I'll wrap the salami around the cheese. I'll grab a jalapeno and I stuff it in. Simple enough. And if you get a really long jalapeno like this one, sometimes I just cut a piece of cheese and throw it on the bottom oh, because it will be, you will have enough space that you can put an extra little bit of cheese and who doesn't like extra cheese? Alright, so we're done. We stuffed them all. Um, along with this little tool uh, came this little tool which um, it's perfect for baking uh, you can also grill them and it, it works just as well and it tastes really delicious but we're gonna do them in the oven so you just stand them on this I already have a preheated oven 400 degrees we'll bake them for about 15 to 20 minutes or until you notice the bright green color turning into more faded green that means that they're cooked and so they'll be a little less spicy. Um, if you don't like them spicy, I would cook them a little longer. If you, you know, if you like the, the jalapenos hot, then just cook it a little less. But um, I usually put them in the oven 400 degrees, about 20 minutes. Okay, so I just took my jalapenos out of the oven. Uh, they cooked for about 20 minutes. Uh, and you can see that the color is a little different but uh, it just means that they're cooked and they're ready to go so here it is enjoy oh it was recording the whole time <laughs> you're an idiot